The man charged for murdering two Dallas hospital workers took the stand today after hours of testimony that confirmed he fired the deadly shots. Nesta Hernandez shot social worker Jacqueline Pacua and nurse Katie Annette Flowers last year at Methodist Dallas Medical Center. His version of what happened is a contradiction of what his ex-girlfriend told the jury and does not really seem to be supported by the very disturbing video evidence from the scene. Fox 4's Alex Boyer joins us now with more. Alex. Yeah, you know, Nestor Hernandez says that he had a very rocky relationship with his then-girlfriend, Selena Villatoro. You know, she was at the labor unit having just delivered uh, their son. He says the day of the shooting, he expected to walk into the hospital to sign the birth certificate for their baby. Now, when Hernandez got to the hospital, he walked by the nurse's station and went to the hospital room. He said he began arguing with Villatoro. She was upset that he was drinking alcohol. Now, his testimony was filled with bad language and claims that are really hard to believe coming from a previously convicted violent offender. Hernandez claims that he had placed a pistol in Villatoro's bag the day before and pulled it out as social worker Jacqueline Pacua walked into the room. Now, he testified that he grabbed the pistol only because he had a buyer for it and was intending to sell it and not because he intended to use it to harm anybody. She, uh, the nurse tried to stop the fight. She got in between us and uh, she yelled stop. She's like, stop. And they said, you know, the, the gun went off. And um, we stopped. Everything slowed down. You know, I was, I was kind of confused for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And the first thing that Selena said, she was like, what did you do? You know, and I was like, no, man, it's your fault. This is your fault. You know what I'm saying? Because the nurse, she was kind of like leaning forward, and then she ended up falling back. Boom. Now, although Hernandez said he did not intend to shoot Pakua, the jury already heard testimony from his ex-girlfriend that Hernandez made it clear he would kill whoever walked into the room. Now, moments after the first gunshot was fired, we know from body camera video that nurse Katie Annette Flowers and Methodist Hospital Police Sergeant Robert Rangel peeked into the room to investigate the sound. That is when Hernandez fired two more shots. I opened up the door and... Uh... I shot, I opened up the door like with my right hand, I opened up the door, and I shot out the door. Boom, boom, twice. I shot out the door twice. And Did you see anybody outside the door when you shot? No, I didn't even look outside. I just shot. What was the purpose of that? I, w I was so panicked. I was, I was, I just shot somebody, you know what I mean? I was just, I, I was real panicked. And Sergeant Rangel had fired one shot that hit Hernandez in the leg, causing him to retreat back into the room. Hernandez testified the reason he kept yelling at Villatoro to give him the baby was so that he could protect the baby. Villatoro was eventually able to get the gun away from Hernandez and throw it out the door. Now, when asked by his attorney if he intended to shoot either of those two health care workers, Hernandez said that he did not. Now, it's an important point to make because... If the jury believes this version of events, the defense, of course, contends that then the jury should find Hernandez guilty of the lesser charge of murder. We'll have to wait and see how it all plays out.